What up with you guys today? I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up a live stream using your DSLR camera or a really professional high-end camera and be able to put it in the stream. I'm gonna show you all of the very simple pieces of equipment that you need to make this happen. Let's take a look at it. So here on the table, I have several pieces of equipment that will allow you to make a really, really dope live stream. So I have my Canon DSLR camera. Uh, this is a T2i, but you can use any DSLR. It could be Sony, it could be Panasonic, whatever the case may be. You probably have it if you're watching this video. Uh, you have a mixer, a little five channel Behringer mixer. I have an HDMI cable, gonna need that. Got an audio cable, gonna need that to run our audio. Uh, I have the computer, of course, which is gonna be the centerpiece of what we're gonna be doing. Uh, and then I have this, which is probably the most important piece, the Elgato uh, capture card. Now you don't have to have this. This is just the one that I picked up because it was at Target and I was able to run the Target and pick it up because it was open. So uh, this is a capture card. It has a um, an HDMI input and it also has an audio input that I can run my audio and my camera feed straight into this and then this connects to the computer and then I can use OBS software to stream both my audio from my mixer and my video from my camera. Now the last thing that I have on the table which is optional is this HDMI switcher. Uh, this is made by a company called Philips. I got it at Target for like 30 bucks, uh, but I can plug multiple HDMI sources into this and then switch them with this remote, this wireless remote. Uh, so that's pretty cool if you wanna plug in multiple cameras to get multiple angles and then use this remote to switch through those angles. It only has one HDMI output that I can run from here into the capture card. So if that makes so if it makes all sense to you, you have uh, up to four sources plugged into here. You run out of here into the camera card, uh, and then out of here one source into your computer, and then switch angles using the wireless remote. So that's an optional piece, but we're not going to really deal with that much. But I wanted to put this on the table uh, that for those who have multiple camera angles and you want to utilize this to do some switching. All right. So these are just the basic pieces that we're going to need to make this happen. So I'm going to show you really quickly how you can connect all of these pieces together and make it for make it ready for your stream we'll do the the connections first and then we'll do the software second so on the uh, camera itself most cameras especially Canon cameras and any other DSLR have a uh, HDMI port on the side of them uh, that you can plug in an HDMI output for what you're seeing on your camera uh, so this one has a micro HDMI slot so I had to get an adapter that lets me uh, plug into the HDMI slot now some cameras some DSLR some of the modern ones don't even need uh, a micro HDMI adapter you can plug straight in but if you don't if you have an older camera or, or one that doesn't support full HDMI you have to get one of these adapters to plug in so I'll take this and I'll plug this into uh, the camera and then we'll take the camera uh, capture card and we'll plug into the input on the capture card right there uh, and then with the audio cable we'll take it uh, and run the outputs of my mixer where I'm going to plug all of my uh, equipment, if I have a keyboard, if I have a microphone, uh, multiple whatever tracks, everything is going to plug into here. So of course you want to get a mixer or have a mixer that's big enough to accommodate all of your inputs. And it's good to use a mixer. Now you can use an audio interface, something like this. This is a little audio interface if you don't have a mixer. Um, you know, if you know about audio interfaces, if you have one, you know what it does. So you can use an audio interface, but I prefer to use a mixer if I'm doing multiple sources like this because it's good when you're doing a live stream to actually have tactile control over stuff because you never know what's gonna happen and you don't wanna be fooling with a mouse trying to turn something down or turn something up inside of a stream. So you plug into your mixer and then you take the audio uh, cable and plug it straight into the capture card. And then once you've done that, you're gonna take the um, USB cable that comes with that or whatever you know kind of capture card you know output you have and just plug that into your computer. 
And that is the basics on how you will connect everything. Now, uh, you want, of course, kind of clean your cables up and make it look a little bit neater than this. But this is essentially how you would plug it up and connect everything. Now that we've got everything plugged up on the outside, let's take a look at the computer and let's see how we get everything set up in there to run uh, our live stream. So there's a few pieces of software that you're gonna to need to make this work. One is the OBS software, uh, runs on both PC and Mac. It's free download, doesn't cost you anything. Really, really dope software. That's what you're gonna to use to stream to Facebook, to YouTube, and all of that good stuff like that. Now, depending on what capture card you get, if you get the same one that I have, then you have to download extra software to make it connect. Now, some co capture cards do not require any other software, extra things like that, but it's always good to download the software package that comes with your uh, particular unit that you're using, your particular interface that you're using. So uh, because I'm using the Elgato, uh, it is uh, a couple of pieces of software I'm going to need, and one is this one called uh, OBS Link. That's if you're using, only if you're using this, you don't need it if you're, if you're not using the uh, Elgato. Um, and I'm going to also need this OBS NDI, and this is only for Mac. If you're using this on PC, you don't even need this particular software. It'll just show up as a source inside of OBS, a video capture source, and you won't have to do anything else. But because I'm using a Mac, I need this particular software, uh, and I need also the OBS uh, link uh, stream for Mac. So uh, those are the only two pieces of software I need for my particular unit. Again, it's going to vary which ca capture cards you have, what pieces of software you're going to need. So I'm just showing what I need for this. So now that I've got my software downloaded, uh, inside of OBS, I'm going to um, add a scene, which we're just going to call it Live Sunday. You know, you can call this whatever you want. Uh, and then we're going to add in a source. Now, before I add in my source, because of the particular software that I have with my particular capture card, I need to open up OBS link that I downloaded. Uh, and if you have this particular capture card, you'll download that. And it's going to pop up here in your uh, nav bar up here. And you'll see it's already connected to my capture card. And then down here in uh, sources, I'm going to add in an NDI source. That's for my particular uh, capture card. But if you have a different one or you're on Windows, uh, even if you're using the same one, you're just going to use video capture device. But because I'm on a Mac and I'm using this particular card, I have to add it in as an NDI source. Um, so I'll add in an NDI source. We'll hit OK. And then I'll choose my capture card OBS link and just hit OK. And it's going to search for the signal from my card. Takes a second. And boom, there it is. So now I can take this particular video and I can adjust it to where it's not seeing any of that other information. Maybe I want to make it just a little bit bigger, you know, so I can adjust it and get that stuff out of the way. And you can adjust this however you need. And now I have my DSLR source inside of OBS. So uh, I can use that. Uh, and now we want to get the audio in. And so again, because of this particular capture card that I have, uh, I need to go to OBS link and I need to go to preferences and I need to change the audio input to analog line in. And once I do that, it will reset my um, link again. I'm going to take a second. And now down here under NDI source, you can see that I'm getting audio from my microphone here. So it's just that easy to get your DSLR in uh, and your audio in here. Now, if you're not using, if you don't have a capture card that does not have particular audio and maybe you're plugging straight into your mic input on your computer or plug it into an audio interface, then inside of settings in OBS, you're going to go to where it says audio and you're just going to add in your audio device and it will show up down here in the sort in the mixes mixer area and you can actually mix that audio and blend that audio and monitor it um, there for your stream. Now, once you have set all of this up, 
you're going to want to go to uh, whatever network that you're going to be streaming on, whether it's Facebook Live or it's YouTube, uh, and you're going to want to get your stream key. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you. I hope it blessed you. I hope it gave you some insight on how you can create a professional looking and sounding stream uh, for your online audience right now while we get through this time. Uh, feel free to reach out with any comments or concerns or questions that you might have. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I'm out. Holla at your boy.